everyone, welcome to The Real Shine, Corinne Dior TV. I am here today with Philly's own artist, Bino French. How are you today? I'm good, and yourself? How have you been since the last time I saw you? I've been busy. Yeah. And uh, just very grateful of everything. I can only happened. imagine. Yeah. So the last time I saw you was when you performed on The Q Show, which mm -hmm. was an amazing performance. Thank you. Tell me about that experience. Uh, that experience was, was great because that was like my first live TV performance. Yeah. So... When he, uh, when he reached out, <clears throat> first off, I was a huge fan of the show already. So mm -hmm. when he reached out, I always wanted to do the show. Absolutely. So after my project dropped, literally two days later, no, three days later, Q was like, yo, you need to come perform on the show. Yeah. And I was like, without even second guessing, man, I'm like, <laughs> I'm we, there. We there, like, without, without even. So the minute he called and asked, I called my band, uh, got, got my sound man, we got everybody together. Uh, we set, so we, was like, we waited, like, all right, what day they going to give us? They're like, no, we're going to give Monday morning. I'm yeah. like, that's great. <laughs> I'm like, that's great because I have a song called Monday Morning, which right. is like one of my most popular songs off my name, P. Went up there. Everybody was so welcoming, like the sound man. You, you, Absolutely. you guys, everybody. It was like y'all took care of us. Yeah, definitely. So. And you showed the love back. Now, you were number four on the R&B iTunes yes. chart. You were after people like SZA, Miguel. How did that make you feel? And Khaled, that's who also yeah. was ahead yes, of you. It was How did that make you feel? It kind of, I, I didn't feel anything for a second because I was like, this, at first it was shock. like, it, 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 was, it was all being in shock. Like, yo, Definitely. what is going on? Like, how, did this really just happen? So yeah. when, it, when my manager called me, I was legit at work because I work for UPS still. Yeah. So I'm working in my uniform. My oh manager FaceTimes me like, yo, look at this. I'm like, yo, like, what's that? So he showed me like, yo, you number four. I don't believe it. You're so like, first no thing way, I do, <laughs> I said, I'm going to call you back. First thing I do, I go on iTunes on my phone and pull mm -hmm. up the chart. And there it was, just being on number four. And I was like, yo, <laughs> like, no, this, it's still, it's still yeah. kind of everything that's been happening because it's been happening so fast. Definitely. It's still kind of surreal. So ah, that moment to me was like, oh, I can't even imagine. <laughs> it, now, it was. I love your album. What was Thank your you. vibe while you were creating this? Like, I keep wondering, like, what mm. were you, what was, what were you feeling while you were creating I was this? feeling just giving everyone the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. Like, when I, the, the name of the project was Just Beano, and I wanted to give y'all that Just Beano. Right. I didn't want y'all to feel like y'all were listening to a song and it was sounding like everything on the radio. Absolutely. I know, like, talking to some people about the project, they say, it was a reach to do what you did, and mm -hmm. it was a risk, but I was... I trust in God and the path that he's leading me. Mm -hmm. So I think the best, the best formula right now in the way, I guess, media, music, everything works right now is to just be yourself. Definitely. So I was just giving you all myself. Awesome. And you, I feel like you could definitely hear that when you were listening to it. You were just mm -hmm. genuinely you. And then when I met you, I was like, this goes with the guy. <laughs> yeah. Now, what was your favorite song? My favorite song is uh is between Roll With Me and Monday Morning. Okay, yeah. yeah. I love I love Monday Morning. I, that's <laughs> my favorite song. I listen to it on my way to work. Every Dang. Monday morning, it gets me going, gets me feeling good. Now, we're going to go a little deeper mm -hmm. because I like to interview people, not only based on talent, but when I feel like they have something very different and unique about them. Yes. And when I saw you on the Q Show, you seemed like a very genuine person. Your whole team that you came with, mm -hmm. very down to earth, very real people. I even stayed and hung with you guys as you yeah. guys cleaned up just because it was just good energy. Um, how do you stay so motivated and so humble? Just years of working and just um, seeing so many people that came before me because I'm, I'm still living West Philadelphia. Yeah. I still work at UPS and seeing so many people that came before me just doing music and just stopping. Right. So, or it's getting a certain, or getting to a certain stature and just being complacent. Like, I'm cool with Definitely. this. With me, it's just like, you gotta know this can go tomorrow. So you gotta appreciate it while you, why, why you have it or right. why it's happening. Definitely. Like, I'm still learning to enjoy the moment because right now I'm only worried about what can I do next? Right. To not be the people that came before me. Now, I'm not saying like the big people that blow. Yeah. I'm talking about the people that got a little bit of buzz in the city and just was like, all right, like, yeah. They, 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 they took their foot off the gas. With Absolutely. me, I'm like, man, we're going to enjoy this while we're doing it. We're going to thank God because without him, we, none, of this would none of this would be happening. Right. And just put our best foot forward. And that's the same thing I preach like to my team is like, yo, we got to give them us. We can't, I don't like the one thing about me in like social media nowadays, everybody wants to just broadcast all their wins. Yeah, like I'll broadcast sure. when I'm not having the best day or yeah. I didn't have the best show mm -hmm. or best session. Like 
you got to talk about it because that's what pe- people want to see that side of you too. It's yeah, not just all right. about. Yo, man, that song was great. You know, yeah. I got another good one. Like, no, I had some songs. I, it wasn't that good. So. <laughs> exactly. I show both sides. Exactly. So it's just the biggest thing with us and me and my team is us, our honesty with each other, trusting in each other. That's the mm-hmm. biggest thing because you got to trust the people that are around you and trust the people that God put around you. Absolutely. And uh, just giving us, give, giving them, give them who we are because mm-hmm. it's like, it's either they're going to hate it or they're going to love it. Right. But at the end of the day, God respect it. Yeah. And it's you. So at the yes. end of the day, if you do hate me, it's me. So exactly. <laughs> it works either but way. But I've been lucky enough to very much say <laughs> that. Right. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> now, we kind of had a moment on Instagram yesterday. Yes. When we were talking about Drake's new video. Yes. Now, what made you kind of get emotional about that video? What was it that sparked for you? Because I'm a very... If anyone that knows me personally, I'm a very giving person. Like, if I can do anything for anyone, mm-hmm. I'm going to do it. I hate to say no. So right. when to see someone at that magnitude just giving back to people that he didn't know. Yeah. Like, me and uh, Ricochet, he's over there recording <laughs> right now. We actually were talking about the video on the way up here just saying, like, I wonder how they set that up. Right. For people not to know. He said, man, they probably did some outreach programs and yeah. just said, like, yo, we're going to do this. And then it popped up and it was Drake. Drake yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, so, <laughs> and you could see the genuine, like, joy that came across these people's faces. For sure. And that stuff, that kind of stuff makes me happy because mm-hmm. in the world we live in today, it's a lot bad going right. on. Right. So when the, 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 the joyous and more happier moments are put on the forefront, mm-hmm. you tend to enjoy it. Yeah. It tend to hit a little spot. Definitely. So that's what it did. And I and that's something like not what he did, but something yeah. like I plan on doing just when I get big enough into that statue. I give back now, but right. when I get to that statue, I want to do so much more for my city. Definitely. Like I love Philly. I feel like we can do so much more as far as giving back and things of that nature. Absolutely. Now, what advice do you have for aspiring artists? For aspiring artists, is you got to believe in yourself mm-hmm. is, and know that everything isn't going to be good all the time. It's yeah. going to be some, you're going to get, it's going to be a lot of no's before you get some yeses. Like, sure. <clears throat> like my journey was, and nobody's journey is going to be the same. Mm-hmm. You can't look at this person and say, this is the blueprint to make it. Right. Or I got to do what they did because that was their story. You got to create your own story and your right. story is just working hard and just getting after it. Do what you do best. Don't focus on what everybody else is doing. You got to almost wear blinders. Be mm. be very aware of what's going on, but focus on, run your race. One thing, uh, a big, race, like that. you got to run your race. Because one thing, uh, a big meme that was, that went crazy um, at the last Olympics. Remember when Michael Phelps was swimming? Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen it. The guy swimming next to Michael Phelps was actually winning. Mm-hmm. He started watching Michael Phelps mm. and Michael Phelps passed him. Uh-huh. It's like you were too worried about what was yep. going on beside you instead of focusing on what's happening in front of you. Definitely. So it's like run your race. Focus yeah. on what you have to do. Definitely. Because it's always going to be outside noise. You just got to know when to tune it out. That makes a lot of sense. And my mom always told me that when I played soccer, she mm-hmm. always said when you're in a race, never look back. Because that'll you down. never look at your competition. Keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Exactly. And that's going to be your best bet. I'm a big advocate of it's not really competition. It's, it's like not. people are going to like you for you. They're going to like that person or that person. Yep. You just got to keep putting your best foot forward. Definitely. So let's talk about this upcoming show. What yes. can people expect? I'm super excited. Well, people can expect anyone that has been to any one of my shows. I'm very, I'm very, very energetic when I get on stage. Ooh. I love it. Okay. I love it. It's almost like I turn into someone else on stage. Yeah. Like, I'm more comfortable on stage than I am off stage. Oh, wow. Like, uh, I'll have more, like, I sing, like, me personally, I think I sing better on stage than I do in the studio because mm-hmm. I'm just giving it my all. And when you come to that show, you're going to know I'm bearing my soul to y'all. Like, oh, wow. I'm giving y'all everything. And not only me, the other people that are on the show. Right. Like, I have an uh, amazing artist by the name of Noelle Scales. Mm-hmm. She's a singer-songwriter. She actually uh, wrote um, Darling Baby. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I work with her on the Darling Baby song. I have a group called Lucas Wolf. They okay. like my little bros. I've been watching them for like the past two years. Yeah. They're on the show also. They're an amazing band. And I got uh, my bro Treyway. Treyway is actually the drummer for Meek, uh, Future. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he's been, he's on BB Ray right now. They're on tour with Bruno Mars. But wow. I called him. I said, yo, bro, I'm having a show. You want to do He said, most definitely. Yeah. And then, so uh, it's just going to be an amazing night of dope Philly music. Because right. I wanted people to come and know that we have talent here. Absolutely. Now, one thing I can see that this project has done for me and the people around me, and even in the city, a lot of people listen to the music like, wait, he from West Philly? Yeah. And I'm like, yes. I'm like, yep. yes. So most people, they talking to me like, yo, I didn't know. 
I said, that's cool, but I want y'all to know, like, we do have some talent here. Right, you, a lot you, of talent. You can support it. Yeah. Yeah, so. So tell people, like, where is it, how much it is, where they can get tickets, things yes. like that. So what camera? I'm looking at this camera. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at this camera. Yeah. So um, you guys, it's March 18th. Mm -hmm. It's at Coda, which is down 17th from Walnut. It's right yes. across the street from Zara. I know y'all know where Zara is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and right next to the van store. Uh, tickets, I got them to get it as low as possible because I wanted to make it affordable like i said i like to try to be yep. get everybody there tickets are on ten dollars ten dollars and everybody was saying i was crazy but like i said i just wanted to make sure everyone can get in the building so tickets are ten dollars it's at coda coda philly 17th from walnut march yes. 18th which is a sunday night it starts at seven o'clock and we out the door by 12. awesome so people will still be able to get there before work on monday oh yeah <laughs> most definitely yeah you and play monday morning exactly on the way there. and play monday <laughs> you you want it yep i'm going it well thank you so much i really appreciate you coming yeah. good thank you for seeing. having me of course no problem thank you that's all we have for this episode of the real shine corinne dior tv and i'll see you all next time Peace. Mm -hmm.